Okay. Okay. Uh, let, let, let us, okay, maybe we, we can briefly begin with one number as we wait for others to join. Okay, you can read the number, one of them. X plus Y equals five. Uh -huh. Yes. And X plus three Y equals five. Plus three Y is equal to five. Okay, so we, I think let us begin by using elimination, okay? No, substitution. So with substitution, so we make this equation one. Uh, and this yes, we make this equation two. Then, so we can make any the subject of the formula here, okay? So from equation two, okay, from equation one, we can say y is equal to five minus two x. Is that fine? Now, we are going to take this and substitute it where there is a y in the second equation. So this will be x uh, plus 3 into 5 minus 2x. And this is equal to 5. Okay, so this will be x. Uh, 3 times 5 gives us 15. Uh, 3 times 2, x is equal to 5. So x minus 6, x gives us 5x. Neg but it is a negative because 6 is a negative. So plus 15 is equal to 5. So we are going to take this one uh, to cross the equal signs. So we shall have negative 5x uh, giving us 5. When it crosses equal signs because it is positive, it changes to negative. So it becomes 5 minus 15. So we get negative 5x is equal to uh, 5 minus 15. What does it give? Uh, negative 10. Negative 10. Uh, so here we are going to divide by negative 5 and here by negative 5. Oh, sorry. So uh, negative 5 divided by negative 5 gives us 1. Uh, negative 10 divided by negative 5 gives us. So this will change to this will be positive. And x will be equal to? x will be equal to? 2. To 2. Two. Yes. So after sub, uh, we shall come back to this equation. And we say our y is equal to 5 minus 2x. Uh, so this will be 5 minus 2 uh, times 2. And this will be 5 minus 4, which gives us 1. one. So this is how you we are supposed to do it. To, to answer the question. Is that okay? Yeah. I'm 
Sanskrit is going to the matrix where the graph is here. So that's the one I can understand. The, the matrices? Yes. Okay. Uh, matrix method, I think we can still use this same example. Uh, 2x plus y is equal to 5. So 2x plus y is equal to 5. And uh, another one was what? x plus 3y is equal to 5. Okay. Peter, Emma, can you unmute your microphone and we do this number? So we begin by extracting the, the coefficients of x and y, okay? So we shall have two, one, one, three, and then multiply this by x, y, and it is going to give us five and five. Is that okay? Yes. Emma? Today you are not saying anything. Okay, your microphone has issues. Okay, please. Uh, so when we get here, we, we first get the inverse of this matrix. So to get the inverse, uh, inverse is one over determinant uh, times adjunct matrix. So uh, the adjunct matrix, we, we just change the order here. So the adjunct matrix, we change, we interchange these numbers and then change the signs in the, in the minor diagon. So let us first get the determinant. Determinant is equal to product of the major diagonal, which is two times three, we subtract product of the minor diagonal, which is one times one. So two times uh, three gives us six. six minus one, and this will be equal to five. And then the adjunct matrix We interchange. We interchange. Uh, two, two will come here, and then the three goes there, so it becomes three, then two, and then this uh, one new changes neg to negative, and this one also changes to negative. Okay. So now the inverse. Yes. Yes. Please. I've, I've changed, let me write it, two, one, one, three. So uh, this one is here, interchange. A two moves there, a three moves up. So the three has come up, the two has gone, and the down left, down right. Is that okay? And then this, uh, the, the, the ones in the minor diagonal just change signs. If it is negative, it becomes positive. And if it is positive, it becomes negative. So it's only the one in the first diagonal change, but the, that's changed their positions. 
But the yeah. only other bag, they're just change. The signs. What are the the signs? Yes, they change the signs. Okay. Yes. Uh, so now our inverse is going to be one over five, then multiplied by three, negative one, negative one, and a two. Is that okay? Uh, so here we are going to pre-multiply this both sides. So we are going to pre-multiply So it will be one over five into three D negative one, negative one, two, then multiply it by two, one, one, three D, uh, then times X, Y. Let me hope it will fit there. One over five into 3 negative 1 negative 1 2 multiplied by 5 and 5 okay so we are now going to begin multiplying row by column okay So this should be one over five into uh, three times two gives us six, isn't it? Yes, two times two six. Uh, then we add uh, negative one times one, which is negative one. Uh, then we go to the next one. 3 times 1 gives us 3. And then negative 3 times 3. Negative 1 times 3 gives us negative 3. Now we're there. Then we come to the lower one. You're welcome, Hope. Uh, then we come to the lower one, we get uh, negative 1 times 2, and it gives us negative 2. Then we shall add 2 times 1, which is a 2. Uh, then we get this one and the second column negative one times negative one times one which gives us negative one plus two times three which gives us six and then into our x y and then we quit this to one over five into 3 times 5, 15, uh, plus negative 1 times 5 is uh, minus 5, okay? Then negative 1 times 5 is negative 5 plus two times five, 10, okay? I see yes. Why is there a minus sign for 15 minus five plus a positive sign for negative five plus 10? Come again. Uh, why does negative 5 plus 10 have a positive sign but mm -hmm. 15 minus 5 
Hey, okay. So uh, on, on 15, we got 3 times 5, which gave us 15, okay? And then because this one here is negative, when we get uh, negative 1 times 5, it is going to give us negative 5. So that is why we have a negative 5 here. And then likewise here, it is a negative 1 times 5, which gives us negative 5. Uh, then plus, okay, here we should have said maybe plus, but plus followed by negative is the same as a negative. Maybe that would be the best answer there. Okay. So now let us work from here and then transfer our answers. Uh, five, uh, six plus negative one is the same as six minus one, and that will give us Three plus negative three is zero. Negative two plus two. Negative two plus two. Hope. Zero. Yes. So. It is the same as two minus two, so it gives us zero. And then we have negative one plus six is the same as six minus minus one, which gives us five. So here we have a five, here we have a five, here zero, here zero. And then uh, 15 minus five gives us 10. 10. And negative 10 plus 5 plus, okay, negative 5 plus 10. Five. Five. So that one is the same if they are demanding you five and you now get 10. So you pay and remain with the five. That is the simple logic. So up here we have 10 and five. So our answer will be 1 over 5 into 5, 0, 0, 5 times x, y is equal to 1 over 5 into 10 and 5, okay? So uh, this will be the same as 1 over 5 times 5, and that will give us 5. Yes. So uh, in simple terms, it is the same as 5 divided by 5. It gives us 1 then this will be zero, this will be zero, this one will just have five by five, it gives us one, then multiply by x and y, and this still gives us five divide, 10 divided by five, two, 10 divide, okay, five divided by five, okay, then here, we get 1 times x, which is x. Of course, this times this will be 0. So we shall say x is equal to, to 2. And then 0 times uh, x is 0, plus 1 times y is y is equal to 1. So our y is also equal to a 1. So is it now okay or fair? Yes, it's good now. Okay. Okay. So I was expecting some of us to present, but now Peter says he can't speak. So it is really a challenge. Okay.
Okay. So, uh, did did you try out the the other work I sent in the group about gra? Yes. No, not yet. I was hoping to discuss because I didn't understand graphs. Okay. So Peter said he tried, but the unfortunate he can't speak. So uh, I don't know how we shall do it. Yeah, you didn't draw the graphs. <laughs> okay. You don't you have graph papers at home? A in the word PowerPoint, okay, in Microsoft Word. Kristen, do you have graph book at home or a graph paper? Okay. So, um, uh, Peter, you you need a graph paper because we we can't do that work without a graph paper. Okay. So we, we shall need a graph. What happened to Hope? She's not returning. So maybe let us do uh, one more number here. Okay, Christine, read for us another number from your work. Okay, uh, okay. Two x minus three y minus two y. Two x minus three y. Okay. Two x minus three y is equal to negative Negative twelve. Yeah, I think that is safe here. Four. Okay. Uh -huh. Another one. Three x plus two y. Two x. Three x plus two y. Hey, three x plus two y is equal to. Hey, these numbers were negative. Okay, 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 okay. So we we use we use substitution. Uh, no, graph. This one was for graph. But let us change these ones to positive. But this one won't be good for the graph. I sent this work in the in the one of graph. Eh? Uh, no, you sent it in the previous assignment. Let's get one that that is for graph. Let me, let me get it here from the work I sent. And then I will leave you to, to draw the graphs. OK. 
Okay, so we had one was x minus 2y is equal to 12. And then 3x plus y is equal to 1. So what we do, uh, we we are going to find it to because we are going to now draw draw two lines. So we are going to begin with the the first one, x minus two y is equal to twelve. So we draw a simple table. So we put here the value of x and the value of of y. So we can get as many points as we can, but it is better for us to get any two points. So we shall first get when x is zero, because here we can easily get it, and still get when y is what? Is zero. So when x is zero, our equation will be zero minus two y is equal to 12. So negative two y, will be equal to 12. Then here we divide by negative 2 and here by negative 2. So what will our y be equal to? Emma type your answers in the chat. Negative 6. I will bring a negative and put it here. And then we also get when uh, y is zero. So we shall have x minus two times zero to give us 12. So two times zero is? X will be equal to 12. So we bring it and write it here. Okay, okay, I'm seeing your answers. So we shall now write two coordinates, which are in the form of x, y. So we shall write zero and negative six. Then we have 12 and zero. Is that okay? Yes. Then we do the same for the second day. A second equation, let me see, second equation, 3x plus y is equal to 1. 3x plus y is equal to 1. So we still get two appropriate what? Points, okay, x value, y value. So for x equaling to zero, we can get a, a good point. But when y is zero, uh, we shall have three x equaling to one. And uh, th that will give us a what? Uh, a decimal. So we can decide to take when x, when y is what? Is a two. So we just need to get two, two points. So when x is zero, 3 times 0 plus y is equal to 1. So 3 times 0 is 0. So meaning our y will be equal to 1. So we bring our 1 there. Okay. Uh, thank you, Emma. Your answer is correct. Then we get when y is 2. When y is to it will also give us give us a, a small point. Okay, so try, uh, we try number one. When y is it?
Emma, Emma, how did you get the negative five? Let me see. Sorry. Okay, that was wrong. Let me see. Three X. When Y is one, it becomes two. We, we get when X is equal to one. Okay, so when X is equal to one, we shall get three times one plus Y is equal to one. So three plus Y is equal to one. And Y is one minus three. This gives us negative two. So we still get our two points, which is zero, one, and one, negative two. So now what we do, uh, we are going to, to go to a graph paper. We plot these points here, okay? Let me see if, 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 if what, no. So uh, zero, negative one, let us go here and we see, just for illustration purposes. So you say this is X axis. So who can remember our first points, the points we, we had? Okay, so uh, this would be like an illustration, okay? So uh, when, when you get the real uh, graph paper, we shall be in position to, to draw and then So uh, assuming that after drawing my line, uh, let me remember, okay, after drawing my line, this was one line of maybe 3x plus y equaling to something. Then you draw another line and it passed somewhere like here, okay? So what we do, we read, we read of this value as x because this is on the x-axis. Then we read uh, the, the internet is giving me some hard time here, but I hope we shall uh, be in position to finish So I was just explaining where if, if our two points, if our two lines meet at a certain point, uh, that is when we read.
Can you hear me now? Can you hear me?